Hello and welcome. Many students of psychology find one topic of psychology slightly difficult, particularly because of its mathematical nature. If you have psychology optional for civil service examination and uh, you find this concept difficult, let me discuss. But before I discuss, let me remind you one important thing. Then in civil service examination, UPSC civil service examination, uh, you will be required to discuss the concept. You will not be asked to do calculations. So if you are worried about this thing, don't worry. But learn the concept properly. You know what is item response theory? Item response theory is a modern uh, approach to select item for the test. Traditionally, what was the approach? Logical. Logical in the sense that experts will judge that whether these items are suitable for the construct being measured or not. For example, in 1995, Binet and Simon developed a test of mental ability and how they defined uh, intelligence. Ability to reason well, ability to judge well, ability to comprehend well. These, are, these were the parameters. And now they wrote the questions with the help of the experts. Some questions that were related to reasoning, ability to reason. Some questions related to comprehension. So see the logical connect. So these were the approach to, you know, get the questions that is called item of the test. And what was the assumptions behind it? That uh, item, questions and its difficulty will go with in the same proportion with the ability. Means greater the difficulty of the items, greater the ability of the person who gives the correct answer. Getting? So, this was the approach. Suppose one item uh, is uh, has such a difficulty level that children of a 6 and above, most of them are capable to answer correctly, but children below 6 are not able to. So, difficulty level will be called around 6. He called that mental age. I am just elaborating with the help of this example. So, he understood that Okay, if your age is uh, 5 and you are capable to do uh, such questions which are meant for age 6, then you are more intelligent. Suppose you are uh, age is 5 and you are not able to do question meant for 5 years, you are less intelligent. So, every questions, you know, they were trying to uh, uh, get to in order to understand the difficulty of the item and they believed that ability and difficulty goes in same proportion. Ability and difficulty go in same proportion. And difficulty was used to discriminate those who were capable and those who were not capable. Means more or less capable you can say. But uh, what has been discovered later that this method of logical uh, judgment of items and so called this overall judgment of the items through difficulty testing uh, have some flaws. And what is that flaws? That at, after a certain level, some items may not have discrimination power. Try to understand three variables ability, difficulty, discrimination. Three variables ability, difficulty, discrimination okay suppose one question is there where pass percentage is zero means nobody answer that questions correctly second question is there pass percentage is 100 consider two types of questions should those questions be included in the test should those questions should be included in the test or not if they are included those questions have zero discrimination power despite being logically con, you know included in the test those test those questions are not suitable for the test so see logical things is okay but that questions where pass percent is 100 or zero 
both kind of questions have discrimination power zero although you have selected this question and these questions were logically selected so traditionally focus was on right and wrong answer how many rights and wrong here it is not just right and wrong answer Me meaning is that on every questions not overall right and wrong how many question correct how many question incorrect for every questions you can test whether what is the response pattern to this question so three things are there one thing is that item difficulty and ability and how you are responding to that item getting so some questions on the basis of this you will find that have more discrimination power and some less discrimination power so which one is more suitable question having high discrimination at a given ability level for example high discrimination power suppose you are you are taking age 6 or 8 for example 8 at the 8 8 there will be some question nobody will be able to do that thing there will be some question everybody will be able to do that those things should be excluded understood and now try to understand that how difficulty and discrimination go side by side you will find ability difficulty and discrimination this relationship is not linear but curvy linear what does it mean meaning is that that when we try to understand and measure ability with the help of difficulty things are not very proportional at as has been is had been assumed by binet and simon many other researchers things are that that up to certain level it goes in that way but beyond that level things are not so proportional beyond certain limit below that things are not so proportional we're getting so item response theory is a way to select items on the basis of empirical evidences one for difficulty and other for discrimination power agar simple shabdon mein kahe to jis jis items mein discrimination karne ki power zyada hogi usko lena chahiye difficulty se koi matlab zyada nahi hai then you can say how for example one important pioneer in the field of uh, psychological testing anastasi so he has said that difficulty level around 50 वेयर डिस्क्रिमिनेशन पावर इज पॉइंट फाइव मीन्स फिफ्टी परसेंट लोगों को सेग्रीगेट कर सकता है वो तो मॉडरेट कह सकते हैं कि मॉडरेट डिफिकल्टी लेवल इज बेटर दैन एक्सट्रीम डिफिकल्ट एक्सट्रीम मीन्स एक्सट्रीम लो हाई एंड एक्सट्रीम लो बिकॉज द एज यू मूव फ्रॉम दिस साइड और दैट साइड इन द मैथमेटिकल फंक्शन इफ यू मूव फ्रॉम दिस वन मॉडरेट एंड देन लेफ्ट एंड राइट मीन्स आइर टू ईजी और टू डिफिकल्ट की तरफ हम बढ़ें तो उसका वैसे ही डिस्क्रिमिनेशन पावर घटता चला जाएगा अंडरस्टोर ज़्यादा लोगों को डिस्क्रिमिनेट नहीं कर पाएगा पॉपुलेशन में सो इन ऑर्डर टू हैव मैक्सिमम डिस्क्रिमिनेशन पावर क्वेश्चन डिफिकल्टी शुड नॉट बी टू हाई और टू लो मॉडरेट में आप जिस जिन क्वेश्चन से डिस्क्रिमिनेट ज़्यादा कर पाएंगे दैट इज़ मोर अप्रोप्रिएट फॉर द इंक्लूजन इन द टेस्ट मतलब आप डिफिकल्टी लेवल को मॉडरेट रखिए मतलब जहाँ पे डिस्क्रिमिनेशन पावर 50-50 परसेंट तक पहुँच जाए मतलब कि आप सोच रहे होंगे कि बहुत ज़्यादा डिफिकल्ट क्वेश्चन से ही हम लोगों को सेग्रीगेट कर पाएंगे ऐसा नहीं मॉडरेट में ही डिस्क्रिमिनेशन पावर ज़्यादा होता है तो एज आई आई हैव सेट दिस थिंग सो ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड इसको रिकैप करते हैं इनिशियली अप्रोच बार एप लार्जली लॉजिकल देन केम सम एम्पेरिकल अप्रोच दैट वी विल सी हाउ रिस्पॉन्डेंट आर आंसरिंग लेकिन यहाँ होता है ओवर स्कोर ओवरऑल स्कोर लेते थे बी टेक ओवरऑल एक्सपोर स्कोर ऑफ द थिंग्स बट दैट वॉज नॉट वेरी यू नो प्रिसाइज दैट वॉज नॉट गिविंग आइडिया दैट विच विच आइटम्स आर एग्जैक्टली सुटेबल और नॉट सुटेबल सो मोर माइक्रो एनालिसिस यू कैन डू थ्रू आइटम रिस्पॉन्स थ्योरी आइटम रिस्पॉन्स थ्योरी डी कोड इट ब्रेक डाउन दैट वॉट इज द डिफिकल्टी लेवल और आइटम एंड what is the discrimination index of that act get it so if we rather than just uh, relying on difficulty if we rely on difficulty also then that will be uh, sorry discrimination 
rather than just relying on difficulty level if we rely on discrimination power of the item that will be more appropriate so item response theory try to capitalize on discrimination index hum calculate karte hain jisko kare difficulty index discrimination index to difficulty index and discrimination index dono side side proportion mein nahi jata ki agar jaise jaise aap badhayenge to discrimination badhega aisa nahi hai maine bar bola hai i need not to repeat so for many psychological experts difficulty level se zyada behtar हम उस पर रिलाई करें कि वेदर इट इट हैज़ गॉट डिस्क्रिमिनेशन पावर और नॉट सो आपको कितना लेवल की डिफिकल्टी रखना चाहिए डिफिकल्टी का जो लेवल है वो यहाँ देखो मैंने बताया मॉडरेट लेवल पर रखना चाहिए मॉडरेट आइटम्स की डिफिकल्टी वाला मैक्सिमम डिस्क्रिमिनेशन इंडेक्स रखता है तो उसी मॉडरेट में आपको सलेक्शन करना है अंडरस्टो इन सम केसेज पावर टेस्ट में कुछ थोड़ा डिफिकल्ट होता है लेकिन मोस्ट ऑफ द थिंग इट विल वर्क सो एबिलिटी को अगर हम डिफिकल्टी से केवल समझते हैं सो दैट विल नॉट बी अप्रोप्रिएट मोर अप्रोप्रिएट विल बी डिफिकल्टी एज वेल एज डिस्क्रिमिनेशन सो रिलाई अपॉन डिस्क्रिमिनेशन पावर सो लास्ट नाउ द कंक्लूड दिस थिंग तो वट इज आइटम रिस्पॉन्स थ्योरी आइटम रिस्पॉन्स थ्योरी रिफर्स टू द एक्सप्लानेशन दैट से इज दैट वाइल सेलेक्टिंग आइटम्स फॉर द टेस्ट वी शुड यूज इम्पेरिकल मेथड एंड वी मस्ट see that how difficulty uh, uh, interact with uh, discrimination means how difficulty is showing uh, discrimination so ability and difficulty and discrimination these three variables ability became you know, through performance you can say ability uh, will be a function of what discrimination also uh, uh, difficulty also and discrimination also these two Uh, parameters are very important thing so in in simple term i have explained this thing that what is item response theory to so, jaldi se ek minute recap karte hain ki item response theory ek empirical method hai empirical way to select item for the test and it quantify it uh, cal it, it, it rely upon the discrimination index of the item and uh, it not only count difficulty but discrimination इंडेक्स ऑल्स एंड दोनों को लेकर ये एबिलिटी को मेजर करने में काफ़ी हेल्प करता है तो दिस इज द थिंग्स आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड दिस थिंग तो आपको आइटम रिस्पॉन्स थ्योरी का जीस्ट यही है अब मैथमेटिकली आपको ये लिखने की जरूरत है सिर्फ एबिलिटी इज अ फंक्शन ऑफ डिस्क्रिमिनेशन डिफिकल्टी का फंक्शन है लेकिन उसके अंदर और भी पैरामीटर्स हैं एंड इट इज़ नॉट ए लीनियर रिलेशनशिप दस कंक्लूड दियर लाइक दैट अंडरस्टूड सो ये अब इसके जो मैथमेटिकल फंक्शन है विद द हेल्प ऑफ दैट हमको आइटम सेलेक्ट करने में काफ़ी हेल्प होता है तो आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड दिस कॉन्सेप्ट एंड अगर आपको कोई डाउट हो तो आप कमेंट बॉक्स में लिख सकते हैं थैंक यू